Well, you know, Frank, uh, Moffitt's very prestigious reputation has allowed it to attract some world-class researchers, as we've been talking about all week. But it has also attracted a very first-class branding expert. And we're going to tell you about that today. Joining us, Joe Heiss is Vice President of Public Relations and Marketing for Moffitt Cancer Center. Joe, good to see you again. Great to be here, and it's awesome to be back in the Tampa <laughs> it Bay sure area. sure is. <laughs> you know, uh, as a branding expert, that's kind of the new word. It, it's really all about telling a story and getting out a message of a product. And you have worked with three really famous ones, c mm -hmm. Harley-Davidson, mm -hmm and Segway. Segway. And don't forget the University of Florida. And Gator, Gator Nation. Nation. <laughs> all right, can go we say, all right, go Gators. <laughs> so what, uh, but you chose Moffitt. You chose to come back to Tampa Bay. I, I did, I was very fortunate that I've had experiences in my career with places like Harley Davidson and, and Segway and SeaDoo. Um, but my wife and I have always been regretful, I think, of actually leaving the Tampa Bay area some mm. 30 years ago. Mm. Um, when I saw an opportunity to possibly get back with Moffitt, an organization that I've been familiar with since its inception 26 years ago, um, it was like, wow, you mean we really might have a chance to get back to Tampa <laughs> to work for one of the finest cancer centers in the nation. So we feel really fortunate to be back. So, so just briefly, any, any fun stories about Harley Davidson oh. <laughs> or the Gator Nation. I mean, I mean, to to be the branding. Explain to the people people mm -hmm. what that means. To brand is to say this is who we are, and we want everybody to know it. It is. It's to kind of capture the essence of a company or an organization, um, and be able to take that essence to the larger uh, audience. Uh, the University of Florida was a lot of fun because I'm a two-time graduate from the university. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and when we got up there, President Matchin said that he wanted to create a more general brand and more awareness for the university. And at the time, there was a poster that showed the Gator football team rising up out of the swamp <laughs> with the headline, The Rise of the Gator Nation. And it was like, oh, this is perfect. This, this is it. It talks about that uh, lifetime connection. Uh, and it is, university. isn't it? it really Once a is. gator, always a gator. And at Moffitt, we went through a similar process. And, um, you know, we believe that Moffitt um, is closer to its patients, closer to a cure. And that's the, the line that we use in branding uh, Moffitt. And then we focus on Moffitt's um, ability to be your best chance for beating cancer. So it's taking some of those broader messages, mm -hmm. perspectives, mm -hmm and focusing on the things that really make a difference uh, to people's lives. So what did you ride into Tampa to come back to Moffitt Cancer Center? A Harley, <laughs> a Segway, or a sea uh, What I, were you on? I, I sold my Harley um, <laughs> when we left Milwaukee so I could uh, help with my kids through college. And happy birthday, Cassie. It's my daughter's birthday. He's watching oh from LA. Gosh. Oh uh, my gosh. But we still enjoy motorcycles and boats uh, and gator football. Yeah. So the branding of Moffitt, um, is to say that there's something really special about this, uh, the whole medical community here, but Moffitt in particular has mm -hmm. such a prestigious reputation as we were mentioning earlier. What's the brand there? Well, it's uh, closer to our patients, closer to a cure, but we really focus on Moffitt's distinction as an NCI designated comprehensive cancer center. And that means Moffitt brings all the research uh, resources together and is able to translate that directly into the quality of care uh, that the patients receive. And Moffitt is one of only uh, 41 centers like that in the, in the U.S. Uh, we'll do about $85 million worth of research wow. uh, on an annual basis uh, at Moffitt. And Moffitt also gives us an opportunity to reach out to other partners in the community. Uh, the Florida High Tech Quarter Council is one of our mm -hmm. uh, best partners, and I'm involved with, with the marketing committee there. But we have regular meetings, we talk about economic development, we look at how can Moffitt uh, benefit the corridor, how can the corridor benefit mm -hmm. Moffitt, mm -hmm. and then you have all three of the major universities, the University of Florida, South Florida, and Central Florida, all working together. So it's a phenomenal partnership uh, that I'm really proud to be part of. Uh, what's the challenge of, I don't know how to say this, but, but, but branding, uh, a healthcare facility, like a cancer treatment mm -hmm. center, and a motorcycle, or something <laughs> more, that is more, you know, um, fun oriented, entertainment yeah. oriented. This is serious business. It is, and you know, I worried a little bit about that, and I kind of asked myself, what do Harley Davidson, C do, and the University of Florida have in common with Moffitt? Mm -hmm. And I discovered very quickly that it's a passion. 
that people have for the place that they work and the work that they do. Um, I challenge you to find a group more passionate than the 600,000 Harley owners that do bike week <laughs> over at Daytona. Or the Gators. Or the Gators uh, on a football weekend. Or but, the people who love Moffitt. Well, but there is no passion greater than the passion for life. And everywhere you go at Moffitt, um, you know, you see that passion, you feel that passion. And it's, uh, it's really a great place to, to work because mm -hmm. of that, because mm -hmm. people care so much about what they do. So really, it's a different industry but that passion and concern, um, you know, carries through all those companies. Now you, you travel around, you've lived a lot of places mm -hmm. now, obviously, after leaving Tampa Bay. And now you come back and you're looking at the emergence of the, this high-tech corridor mm -hmm. that you're involved in. <clears throat> how, how are we doing? I think we're doing great. I spent a couple of years up in the Raleigh-Durham area before coming back to Florida. And the Research Triangle Park is very impressive. Mm -hmm. and but it, we're not that far away hmm. uh, from being a research triangle park of our own. Our park is a little bit bigger because we go from Tampa, Tampa Bay area to Orlando up to Gainesville. Mm -hmm. So we're a big triangle, mm -hmm. but we've got all the resources here. We've got the talent. We've got the, uh, the industry. Uh, to really grow and move forward in the future. And we have Moffitt. Yeah, yes, we do. <laughs> now let me tap into your uh, the other hat that you used to wear as a, you've been a PR with Hill and Knowlton mm -hmm. and also uh, business editor of the Tampa Times yep. mag uh, newspaper, <clears throat> uh, staff writer with Florida Trend Magazine, Tampa Bay Business Journal. So you have a, a history also of, of journalism. Yep. So what do you think about uh, the way Front Row Tampa Bay mm -hmm. and, and the media and all is portraying Tampa Bay this week while the, all the convention people are here? Well, I think the, the Front Row Tampa Bay is kind of an example of what we're going to see in the future. Broadcast television is always going to be uh, uh, with us. It's always going to be an mm -hmm. important news source. But I get up in the morning and the first place I go is my computer sure. uh, to check out the news. Here we have news, but we also have streaming live video mm -hmm. on Front Row Tampa Bay. So I think it's just another example of how the new technology uh, that's available on the web is going to lead the future. And again, Tampa, uh, the Tampa Bay area and the state of Florida have a number of companies that are leaders uh, in that area. And here we are with the Tampa Bay Partnership, you know, mm -hmm. showing the rest of the world how you can tell a story through a webcast rather than right, a broadcast. Right, right, right. I just checked out the uh, Front Row Tampa Bay Facebook page, mm -hmm. which you should all go uh, mm -hmm. look at, and just had our interview with Al Austin just moments yep. ago is showing up. You know, you'll be on it any minute now, I'm <laughs> that sure. That might not be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter in California yep. is able to watch this yep. interview live. I mean, it's, 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 it's great. It, it's, it's just great. It's pretty amazing, and I know I've been tweeting uh, a little bit about uh, Moffitt's involvement uh -huh. in Front Row Tampa Bay. And I've heard from people in, in Milwaukee that I used to work with, up in Canada where SeaDo is based. So it's really uh, interesting to see how broad the reach mm -hmm. is. And I think what we're really doing here is creating our own network. We're not relying on NBC, ABC, or Fox. Um, with right. the Front Row Tampa Bay website, with the Twitter feeds that we're doing, the Facebook that we're doing, we're creating our own audience, we're creating yes, our, sure own are. Network. our own network. So Joe exciting. Heiss, good to have you here. Thanks, Kathy. Have a wonderful day. Great to be here. Coming up next, how some Bay Area startups are getting a boost from uh, university partnerships.